All right, guys, this video is yet another evidence of a Passover rapture. And I showed in my previous videos how there is no literal trumpet mentioned at the rapture in 1 Thessalonians chapter 4 and Revelation chapter 4 and 1 Corinthians chapter 15 verses 50 through 51. I showed how the word trump is simply a sound, a noise. Number 4536 in the concordance Greek it means a reverberation. And in Revelation chapter 4, in which we're going to go to again right now to show you something, that it was as a trumpet talking with him, telling him to come up hither. So it's just using the word trump and trumpet to describe the sound, the noise. And it's a voice. It's the voice of God. And in all of these passages, it's the same exact thing. So again, this is why, you know, Feast of Trumpets, just because there's trumpets involved, which there's trump trumpets involved in all of the Hebrew uh, festivals, but just because you hear trumpets, you think, oh, we see trumpets and trumps in the rapture. No, <laughs> no, 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 no. So I've shown you guys all that. But now I want to show you another amazing evidence of a Passover rapture, which I firmly believe it's 2025. The argument can be made for 2024, however, I'm at 2025. Regardless, that's where I'm at. You don't have to believe it. The last thing that I want to do is gaslight people. What I do believe people need to be warned about is, you know, the chaos and impending and, and danger that is probably coming this year, but is definitely going to be here by 2024. So now we go to Revelation chapter 4 again. And I want to show you that this is how God leaves us uh, hints and clues as to uh, lots of things in the Bible. This is Proverbs 25, 2. It is the glory of God to conceal a thing, but it is the honor of kings to search out a matter. And a lot of these things that I get are just by revelation. I'm just, you know, meditating, thinking about God and his word. And really, he's putting it on my mind. So check this out. Revelation chapter 4, we know that the number 4 is the number for door. And 1 Thessalonians 4, again, door, right? Now watch this. Here's a Passover evidence, again, a clue that God leaves us for the rapture of Passover. It says this. For this I looked, and behold, a door was opened in heaven. And the first voice which I heard was, as it were, a trumpet talking with me, which said... Come up hither, and I will show thee things which must be hereafter. So, clearly again, just pointing out that it was as a trumpet talking with him. It was just, the trumpet is as a voice. It's describing, it's using the trumpet as simply for sound. It's not a literal trumpet there. But the interesting thing is that there's a door opened in heaven. In chapter 4, which is the number 4 for door... Well, where do they use doors in the Hebrew festivals, the appointed feasts? Passover. Remember? At Passover, they put the blood on the door. Jesus said, I am the door. All these references to door and the number four, which is the number for door, which is delet in the Hebrew alphabet or alphabet, is even... The symbol for a half of a doorway. So a door was opened in heaven. Passover. Doors. Blood on the door. Jesus is the door. Another evidence. Another clue. For a Passover rapture. And it makes the most sense. Because what was Passover about? Well Passover was about going in the house. But putting the blood on the door. So that at Passover, when death came upon the whole town, they were in the house, hence in heaven, hence Passover, going up in the door, and they were protected, and they had blood on the door. So all these references to door and the number four is all about Passover and being protected. Now, also going along with that, that's right before God's wrath. That's not before tribulation and great tribulation, which is not God's wrath. 
God's wrath starts in 2025. Psalm chapter 2 verse 5, uh, Romans chapter 11 verse 25, fullness of the Gentiles. All of these patterns are all there. Uh, 2025 in the concordance or the year 5785 in the concordance and then the next three years in the concordance are all darkness. It's blind and it's slaughter. That's, that's an amazing hint. That's an amazing clue for a Passover rapture. The door. And having to do a Passover. Blood on the door. Jesus said, I am the door. They went in the house and the blood was on the door. That's us being called up to heaven, going in the tabernacle of God, the house of God. Or in the city. Just like when they, when uh, I believe it was Jesus told them to go. And, uh, you know, you'll see a man with the pitcher, which is symbolic for Aquarius. And then go into the city. That's heaven. And just like the great deliverance in Genesis chapter 45. This pattern is all repetitive. But like I said, it's like the Gospels. You're getting a different view a little bit on each story. But it's all talking about the same thing. Just like the Gospels. They're giving you a little different outlook. More information actually. All on the same uh, things. So that's that's amazing to me. The door. Well, where is the door used? Passover. Not the Feast of Trumpets. Passover. And the door was open in heaven. That's a clue. That's a clue, guys. Oh, man, that's so cool to me. Man, when he hit me with that this morning, I was like, oh, I got to share that.